Well, hello and welcome to Serial at Midnight. I am Heath, and in this episode, we're talking about the latest volume, volume three, of The Little Rascals, the classic flicks restorations, Spanky Begins. This is the introduction of Spanky to The Little Rascals universe. And he's so cute. He's three years old when he was first introduced. He would go on to star in like 11 years worth of Little Rascals, of our gang shorts under Hal Roach, and then thereafter. Uh, this is where it all begins. And you notice the cover. We all know this, right? This is that famous GIF that's on all of our phones. The Take My Money GIF where the kid's throwing the money out the window. That comes from the short Spanky, which is actually Spanky's second appearance. He made one prior appearance. The kid's adorable. Um, and it has been so much fun for me to continue to discover. See, I know Spanky, but I know later Spanky. I know these characters as they get later into the 30s and into the early 40s. That's really what I'm most familiar with. So to discover these R Gang comedies from the beginning has been a real joy for me. We've previously covered both Volume 1 and Volume 2 of the Classic Flicks Restorations. I'm going to put the links to those videos in the description of this video. I'll probably put it in the comments too. Uh, everywhere, everywhere that you can find it. But it has been so much fun for me because I had an idea of what The Little Rascals was and discovering, you know, this is pre-code stuff, you guys. All this stuff that we're talking about. You know, from the So there were silent shorts. that These, these do not include the silence. These are the talkies. Uh, so the late 20s. And this, this one, volume three, ends in 1933. And brings back some of the ones, like I'm thinking of the uh, short Fish Hooky, brings back some of my favorite previous, you know, I guess alumni, graduates of the Little Rascals, graduates of our gang. Farina is one of my favorites. Um, but these are pre-codes, right? And what that means is that there's just more stuff going on here than would later be allowed in film and in, you know, uh, that, that the censors would crack down on later. And... Thankfully, let me flip this over for you guys, remastered, uncut, beautifully restored. I heartily agree with every bit of that. Um, I want to tell you some of the stuff that's here, but I, I don't want to, I don't want to be incendiary. Um, they're not politically correct. I, I'll, I'll put it that way. They're hilarious. There are things in them that you're like, oh, wow. They feel so, they can, they can feel almost uh, staggering because they're so <laughs> of their time. That just shows us how far we've come. You know, we don't agree in censorship. We, we don't believe in censorship at Serial at Midnight. Uh, art should not be censored. Um, and so I'm so thankful for these that they are uncut and that everything that was in these for audiences back in the day is here now. Classic Flix's commitment to restoring these is really, really admirable. and It's impressive. You know, these have not been prior to this restoration project, these have not been very well taken care of. Our gang comedies, the Little Rascals have been, <laughs> the Little Rascals have been disrespected, you guys. Uh, to see the before and after of what these shorts looked like before these Blu-rays, before these restorations, it is night and day. The dirt and the scratches and the damage, and then it's just all gone. Considerable, and I'm gonna say expensive efforts have been taken to make these look as good as they can, and they do look really, really good. When I, you know, I, I get tired of hearing myself say the same things, but I'm gonna say it again. When I look at film restorations, I want to see grain. I want to see no evidence of digital noise reduction, of uh, smeary, you know. There are things that you can see when you're looking for correct remasters uh, versus, you know, I'm gonna say incorrect. These are done so well. These are done for the film lover. So the shorts themselves are very funny. Um, once more, it is an illustration that we as a society have not changed. We don't change. What was funny in 1932 and 1933 is still funny today. A lot of this stuff, it's not even kids acting, right? The kids are just being themselves because they are kids. Um, I'm thinking of a particular thinking you know what let me do this so here's here's the disc itself come on get get right side up come on um that's the disc here are the shorts that are included here um there is such hilarious stuff what's the one that i free eats 
oh my gosh there's this so it's like a con there's these two <laughs> these two they're older kids i'm not going to say what they call them in the short because i'm just not but i don't want google coming after me google owns youtube i don't want i don't want to deal with it but there there's two older kids pretending to be babies and it's a con game. They're like stealing jewelry off women and be like, ah, well, yeah, well, they pick me up and then like unhooking necklaces and stuff and stealing rings. It's so funny. But the thing is, like the kids that, oh, and one of the kids is like the, like a really little kid who, you know, they've overdubbed his voice for the grown man. So he's like, oh, raspberries, let's get out of here. Like it's, it's so funny. What was funny then is still funny now. Uh, let me show you the back. I'm going to hold this up and you can freeze frame this if you'd like to. We're going to export this in 4K for you so you get the best resolution. But uh, I don't want to read that to you. But uh, so much stuff going on here. These shorts are fantastic. There will be six volumes. So we're halfway. We're halfway through the, uh, the classic flicks restorations of The Little Rascals. I don't know. Volume three is so much fun. There's, uh, I think 11 shorts here and they run, uh, two out 210 minutes. So what's that? Uh, three and three and a half hours worth of, uh, of little rascals. This is available at classic flicks website right now for, I believe 27 99. I'm also going to put a link, uh, in the description of this video where you can pick it up for, you know, Amazon, other retailers, different places you can buy this, but I'm serious. I, I, I say this, I've said this for all three of these so far. I'm going to say it for the other three too. If you care about classic cinema, if you care about uh, fighting censorship, uncut, fighting, you know, political correctness that tries to erase the past, erases things that are not convenient anymore. If you care about those things, you need to pay for this. You need to buy this and support this with your dollars because I'm telling you, it costs a lot of money to restore things like this and to release them. Uh, I want to see this supported. I want to see people that take chances on things like this to be rewarded for their risks. And uh, Classic Flicks has always been, if you, you know, if you look over my shoulder, here's the Classic Flicks collection right here. Got so many videos about Classic Flicks and their products. They are really saving so much from just disappearing, falling between the cracks. Such wonderful service for movie lovers, for pop culture lovers. And for lovers of the little rascals, for our game. Guys, this has been, uh, it continues to be a real joy to cover. So, once again, volumes one, volume two, and now volume three. Halfway there, the classic Flix restoration is our, they're available right now. Volume four, already announced, coming in January. Pre order that bad boy over the classic Flix website so that they uh, don't, you don't have to even wait for it to come out. Go ahead and pre order and send that message that, yes, we're here. For little rascals we're here for what you're doing support it guys thanks so much let's continue the conversation in the comments below what's your favorite little rascal short is it on this set or is it from a forthcoming set who's your favorite little rascal too uh, guys thanks so much take care until next time here's where to go and what to do